Why I forget my own intro? Lord. I don't wanna get so hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's cameron d noel um my hair is black yes so because i think the last video i posted was me dyeing my hair so there has been a lot that has occurred since that video so pretty much um since my last video i okay so that following week i was gonna record a video of like what i do in my daily life at school but then as i was recording that video my friend um she told me that she had covid and the day before that we were neck like we were near each other so pretty much i had to go into quarantine and then that was kind of like it was nothing for me to really record i'll probably film a, a story time because it was a mess but yeah so um that was a mess and then right after quarantine um i was in jersey for a little bit and then i went back to school i moved out early so it was just too much stuff going on then i had finals so me recording was just not a situation and then while i was in jersey dyed my hair so here we are my hair is black and you know what it's fine it's fine we love black hair also i kind of dye my hair black for multiple reasons because i felt like with the orange like every time my roots grew out i just hated the color after like two washes it was like neon orange so i was like you know what i'm gonna let it go to god so i just dyed my hair and i was like you know what? i could do more hairstyles as to why we are here in this video currently so period so um yeah so pretty much this video is about this curly bun um on instagram multiple people had asked me like what's your hair growth routine and how'd you do the bun little do y'all know it's not my hair it's fake i'm a catfish but yeah so pretty much i'm just gonna be showing you guys in this video how i do my edges and how i put this curly bun curly messy bun in my hair and yeah i hope you guys like the video and i'll see you guys in the next clip okay so as you can see like my hair is already up in like a bun but it's like really have like gel and stuff in my hair i'm not gonna take it down i'm just gonna like refresh the bun um but so the hair i use you can just honestly buy any type of what type of hair is this all right so pretty much all so my hair right now is in like a bun that i've had like this is my real hair right now so um my hair's already been in a bun for a little bit but i just am gonna refresh it redo my baby hairs because i'm pretty sure you guys know how to slick your hair up into a top bun period so um a lot of people thought that the hair in my bun i'll put a little picture was my hair but it's actually not this is my real hair um my bun is like an okay size but like i wanted to have like a messy top bun so in order for it to look natural you could use either like um marley hair from your beauty supply my hair is black so i use the color one um so you can use marley hair or um it's kind of like this like if you look, get hair it's like i don't really know what it's called but pretty much it's just like curly hair some people use it for their locks to add like curls to the bottom or to their braids and stuff like that so also in the color one and then um i just kind of take a rubber band and add it to um the hair itself i like have it it's like because this is the one i already used it's a mess but um pretty much i just like have it straight and then I put the rubber band sort of kind of in the middle it doesn't really have to be even just the simple fact that like you know it's going in a bun you're gonna wrap it around so yeah that's pretty much all I use um I just have like brushes and stuff to like slick up my hair so yeah literally and people always ask me what I use in my hair if I'm doing like a ponytail I'll usually like 
I'll probably make a video, but if I'm doing like a braided ponytail and the hair is straight, I'll blow dry my hair lightly and then I'll use Murray's Edge Wax and Got To Be Spray. But for this, I want my hair to be more of a natural texture. So I like for my hair to be like, you know, still wavy and stuff like that. So I'll only use an eco styler because, you know, if it's water based, it doesn't really matter if my hair curls up because the texture of this hair is curly. So you get the gist. But um, I'll probably do voiceovers for the next clips of like me actually like slicking on my hair and adding the bun because it might be easier that way. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Side so note, my mirror is right here. Same, same situation as the orange hair video, you know? You know, you get the mirror here, camera here, that's it. Okay, so pretty much right here, I'm just using Eco Styler Gel just to slick up my hair itself, just any type of flyaways, and I'll be using the same thing for my edges. But when I do my initial slick down, I'll um, also use some Got To Be Gel just to pretty much keep that mold of a, either a top bun or a back bun, because you can use the same method just depending on where you want to have your ponytail placed. Also, because I'm extra, aside from a brush, I'll use like this the little edge brush part just to slick up my um, side edges, like where I don't have the three big swoops placed. And then for my edges themselves, I usually use a twist comb, what people would use for locks. And then honestly, the best method I would say for doing your edges is to comb and then follow it up with your finger and then um, just try to lay it as flat as possible. That will kind of keep them in place for hopefully as long as you want to keep that hairstyle. I mean, but y'all see it though. Voila, bitch, period. Okay, so now when you're like adding the ponytail itself to your head, I usually try to flip it to the front. So then when you flip it over, it's covering a majority of your ponytail itself because you don't want to get caught out here in these streets. You want the girls to think it's real. So follow this method flip it over it's easy and then pretty much it's gonna be wrapping it around until you get that desired look of just a big bun usually you could do it a little tighter but i just like it to be loose so when i pull out like little hairs i'm not messing up the whole entire ponytail and then i use a rubber band just because it's like really tight and small to just secure the bun itself and then yeah so i just pull out the little hairs and then get to the style that i like Get, 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 get you drunk.
And then every once in a while, I'll pull out a bobby pin just to secure the bag. Just in case, you know, you get into a tussle. Somebody pulls your bun off. You will always be secure. Period. So yeah guys, that's pretty much how I got this curly bun. Um, it's super easy. Literally this video is probably gonna be so short. Um, Cause honestly, when I first did it, I really didn't know what to expect. I kind of just had the curly hair, realized it looked like my hair texture and was just like, period. So it literally will take you five minutes. Well, the slick up will probably take you a little bit longer than the bun itself but literally all you have to do is just wrap it around your hair even if your bun is like really really small i'm pretty sure you could still like get this style you'll probably just need a lot more bobby pins to like keep it up into shape my bun is like a decent size so like the hair just wrapped around it but if you have a smaller top bun you can just like keep it pooped up and then just add bobby pins in it and then yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed it um like comment subscribe and i will have more videos coming because i don't plan on being in quarantine or anything to mess with my life <laughs> but yeah so i'll see you guys in the next video